Man, it's going on. Cold pork Carl. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another Friday coming around. Time to do a video like I always do, you know. And uh, talk about some things. Things been going on and stuff. I'll be honest with you. Much to talk about this week at all. Most of what's been going on is me feeling like a turd. I uh, <clears throat> have sore throat. I've had stuffy head stuff going on. A little bit of feverishness and uh just some generalized not feeling so goodness that's how it's been this week hadn't been good at all i've been blasted on the liquor trying to keep the cold symptoms under control start to feel a little bit better but my voice is still a little bit scratchy apologize sound a little different <coughs> sorry if i have to keep coughing on you clear my throat First time I figured about 15 weeks, you and I have been coming together here. I haven't felt very good. Combine that with the fact that it's been about 195 degrees outside now for three solid days. That's not making a guy. Uh, that's not making a guy feel real good. You know, you got the sweat, you got the chills, you got the whole thing going on, and just ain't the kind of thing going on I like to have. I tell you. Everybody's been real cool about it, been supportive on the Facebook, telling me all different stuff to try. And I have tried the ginger brandy. It did help throw a little bit, a little soothing and so on. But uh, overall, really, I think you just got to let it run her course. That's the way it seems to be anyway. Talk my brother about it. Man, my brother, sorry about this. Talk my buddy down there, Justin Biter. He was telling me he got it there a couple of weeks ago. And it took him a good while to get past it. Might be something going around. I don't know. But uh, at any rate, I've been to the doctor. And he doesn't seem to think of dying. So as long as I'm not dying, I guess I'm living. That's what we're doing. Uh, tired already. I mean, it's got a long way to go, I know. But I'm tired already of this election stuff. Uh, I don't know how many commercials you need to see about it. Everybody knows why they're going to vote or what. I mean... I feel like if you're going to vote based on something you see on a 30-second TV ad, maybe you ought to be voting anyhow. seems like maybe you should be studying up on your politicking. You're going to be trying to base it on a television commercial, you know? But uh, I've already decided who I'm going to vote for. And uh, so I don't, even, I, don't, I don't even need to see these commercials. I feel like they're showing too many of them. And I feel like they're showing them too early. I mean, ain't even going to be voting for what? Five more months? Six more months? How many months? I don't know. What is it? July? June? July, August, September, October? Yeah, about six months. Five and a half, six months now. Give us a little time to breathe on it. You know what I mean? Back off on it. I think it's uh, being pushed a little too far there. I don't really think it's a good thing, pushing it on there like that. So the fact of the matter is, I think most people probably just vote for who they feel like voting for that particular day. I don't really think too many people really have any beliefs on how they're going to do it. Maybe they do. I don't know. I know I don't. I'm voting based on somebody's name. I won't vote for somebody named Mitt. I don't have any reason to believe in politics or not. I don't know nothing about it. Democratic, Republican. I don't know nothing about it. What I do know is I won't vote for a man named Mitt. If that's a nickname, he needs to come out and tell us his real name. And if it's not a nickname, his parents are idiots. Who named the kid Mitt? I know this is an old subject for me, but it just wears me thin. I don't understand it. Of course, that said, I don't know what a Barack is either. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But I, I, I won't vote for somebody named Mitt. I just won't do it. Speaking of Mitt, baseball season's about. We well, saw the curve very last week. Like watching the curve games a little bit. I, what I really like doing is just sitting there in the atmosphere with the people around and drinking beer. That's what I like to do a lot. Soft pretzels. I like soft pretzels. Soft pretzels and beer is a pretty good combo. The fact of the matter is, anything in beer is a pretty good combo. But, uh, you go to a baseball game, people are into it, you know, cheering, take me out to the ball game, seventh inning stretch. It's all kind of part of summer. So if you ain't going over and seeing the curve yet, I kind of recommend you do so. I enjoy watching the ball games, drinking the beers. And uh, hanging out with the people, the baseball and people. It's a good uh, good little community thing going on over there. I recommend you check it out. A little local fair, if you will. And uh, I think we should get a baseball team here at Coldport. Coldport team. I don't know what you want to call them, you know. Coldporters, maybe. 
get a little team together, maybe uh, build a little stadium up there, get something going. I'd be all right, Cole Porter, get a little ball game going on. I don't know whether I'd play, but I'd go up and watch and drink beer. I'll tell you that right now. I'd probably some people kind of play. I know some, you know, some younger kids playing. Or I get into it. Maybe some, you know, some guys just out of their teens or something be into playing some ball locally. Get the cold porters going. Maybe anybody has any ideas about getting something like that rocking and rolling, they could go ahead and do so. That might not be a bad plan, really. Get something like that going. I'm going down there tomorrow night there to see uh, Mary. She wrote a song about Cold Port Carl there a couple of weeks ago, put it up there on the Facebook, and I liked it. I think she's a talented girl, and she's going to be local this week. She's going to be up there near Carrolltown. Me and some friends are going to go up, get blasted, and check her out. Looking forward to it. If you're going to be up around the Carrolltown area, maybe you should check her out. I don't know specifically where up there she's going to be, but I'll put it on my Facebook later, and uh, you can all follow up on that and see where that's going to be. Check it out. Don't forget, too, July 4th coming up there. I got the uh, Freedom Ride down there at the Park of Cairo, and I'll be there about 10 in the morning. Be there till the ride gets going and everything. So come down, meet me, hang out, say hello, drink a few beers, get blasted. We can do that. We can certainly do that. I look forward to meeting you all. Seriously, would. I know it's been a short video this week. I apologize for that, but uh, seriously, I'm sitting here sweating my knackers off and uh throat's a little scratchy and sore so i'm gonna check on out hope you all have a good week and i uh, apologize for the shortness bear with me i'm gonna get myself back on my feet here and we'll be rocking and rolling in a couple weeks stay in touch with me check me out keep drinking and stay blasted later